Hello everyone, I'm here with YouTuber Diana Cowan. She's known as a creator for the channel The Physics Girl, and yes, she studied physics at MIT. I'm not making this up. This really works. There's some simple physics going on here to make this cloud work, and it relies on both steps. How did you come up with the idea of uh, putting physics on YouTube? Yeah, I know that it's not a typical path for someone who went and studied physics, and then I did some research afterwards in physics, thought I would be a scientist, but life takes you and, and whips you around and changes your direction. So I just really uh, enjoyed science communication. I love talking about one of my passions, which is physics. And it's not an easy thing to communicate to people, to, to get across. And YouTube had just a, a unique platform where you can reach people in the most interesting niches. And that's, that's where I went. And it turned into a career. If you pour milk into your tea, it'll take some time for the molecules to interact and eventually come to about the same temperature. But it won't happen instantly. The same is true on a larger scale. The fastest any two objects can interact is as soon as light has had time to travel between them. Do you think about that you you want to educate people, young people as well? Is it something that you have in mind or is it just, you know, following your passion? I, it started out as just following my passion. I really enjoy making videos because when you make a video about something like quantum physics you have to learn it very well so I, I you know it's selfish I want to keep learning so I get to make the videos and learn and then it's almost a side effect a really nice side effect but a side effect that that people learn and you know it inspires some young people who maybe don't see a woman doing physics that often we're not portrayed very often in the media as scientists especially physicists so the speed of light in water depends on the color. Violet light moves slower in water than red light, so it will bend more as it enters the water. An incoming beam of white light will be spread out and separated into a spectrum of color. Where do you get your creativity from? I wor you work with a big team um, because science um, might be maybe something, eh, not really dry, but it can be. <laughs> it certainly can be. Um, but I, yeah, the ideas come from all over the place. And, and I love to say that they just, they come from every single interaction you have, every, um, from every place in the world around you. Um, sometimes the videos are about rainbows. So, you know, I grew up in Hawaii, you see rainbows everywhere. Sometimes they're about the, the start of the universe, the big bang and, and, and what the universe was like right after the big bang. Those came from my experience getting a physics degree and talking to these amazing scientists. Um, sometimes it's a little kid who just has a question like, why does this cup spin this way? Why does the water do this? Uh, so it's all over the place. Repulsive gravity. In Newton's theory of gravity, gravity was always attractive. There just was no other option. Uh, but it turned out that this more complicated theory of general relativity uh, actually allows for the possibility of a repulsive form of gravity. Yes, in very specific circumstances, gravity can provide a push, not a pull. How, how do, um, you know, more academic scientists react to you? For the most part, they've been very positive. Um, and I was a little worried about that because I think that, um, I think scientists are, they really want to make sure that the science communicated is very accurate uh, and, and understandably so. But, uh, but for the most part, the, the community has been, been very supportive. Um, I feature a lot of scientists, particularly female scientists, talking about research that I don't know all the ins and outs of so that I can make sure that everything's accurate, everything's uh, communicated clearly and I don't get anything wrong, which I do sometimes, but you know, we're all human. And you correct your mistakes, that's the important thing. <laughs> then we're also a business channel, so I'm just gonna ask you quick about your business model. I mean, yeah, YouTuber, is it advertisement? Is it being invited to events like this? It is a surprising wide variety as far as where the income comes for YouTubers, and it's different for every single YouTuber. For me personally, some of it's from the videos, some of it's from speaking engagements, talks that I do on education, on science, um, and some of it is, uh, is random Instagram you know promotions of different products and things that I care about uh, so it's all over the place what are the science products that you can promote on Instagram? So, <laughs> <laughs> so I have a I have a um, there's a client I worked with that it, that has a clothing company it's not out yet but but they wanted to talk about the technology that goes into the specific textiles that go into their clothing and so I met with the scientists at their company um, and it was sort of you know I, I'm a curious person I was like tell me about what you do what's your research how do you how do you look into this uh, that's how you pair a clothing company and a physicist. 
when you mentioned the talks that you give uh, talks, um, you were uh, quite often here in Switzerland as well. I saw EPFL, yes. you were at the CERN. So <laughs> yes. is there a special connection to Switzerland or was it just random? This, I, I came to Switzerland for the first time a year ago, just on vacation. And, and I was like, wow, this is a beautiful country. I'll probably not come back for a long time. And then two more times in the same year. Um, one was for a talk and one was for here, for this, for Davos, for WEF. But, uh, um, most of the talks are around the United States. I try, I try not to travel too much. It's just so far to come from California to Switzerland. Um, but most of the talks are around um, the the states in different um, in different like teacher conferences and things like that. Sometimes for companies. Diana, thank you so much. Thank and um, if you want to check her out, you find her on YouTube, The Physics Girl. Thank you very much. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you.